everybody welcome back to the channel this is Tamur and this is my channel the cloud security guy now if you have been following my channel you know the start of every year I always try to make a video in which I talk about like how the cyber security industry is changing like what are the trends which are shipping the industry and where I see the industry going forward and hopefully this helps you to prepare also this is completely 100% my subjective opinion it can be right it can be wrong and this is not about like which are the top 10 hottest cyber security certifications and all that honestly there are a million other videos on that i am talking more about where the industry is going based on where i see based on the people i interact with based on what the thought leaders and the big tech giants are talking about so this is basically my viewpoint on where i see the industry going and hopefully this helps you to prepare also uh, and it, it gives you a roadmap for how to prepare for the next three to uh, five years if you're new, new to the channel please do like and subscribe and share this video if you found it useful so first of all let's talk about how the previous year went the previous year as again it was all characterized by ai whether you like it or not ai is here to stay and again a lot of job cuts happen because of how ai was being interacted with like we saw agentic ai take away a few jobs and even outsourcing was not immune to a lot of the ai changes which are happening these were some of the bad things i did want to talk about it because th this thing is still happening people thought the job market is still very much there but you need to understand where the industry is going in order to have a like a good chance of landing a good job so first of all let's talk about the first trend which i want to really stress upon you that ai will continue to absorb beginner level security work i want you to understand how cyber security works right usually when you were a junior person in cyber security you will be given a few tasks right you know run a few scans there like uh, scan this ip address take a look at this endpoint tool uh, you know basic triage straightforward blocking actions go and block this ip on the firewall or the endpoint so that you learn right now what is happening is ai is getting very very good at the stuff we used to give to the juniors as learning tasks and it will take away more and more of that beginner level work that does not mean if you're a person who was like trying to break into the industry I, the, the point is not to scare you the point is not to say that all the junior roles are going to go away but it does mean that that old path you know of keep on doing junior level work until you earn trust it, it's gonna it has to change right so what is happening is you need to understand systems workloads and context much much more sooner you need to hit the ground running because that uh, bau work it will no longer be available when as ai agents become more and more uh, intelligent you need to add value from day one you need to understand and be ai literate on day one so this is something i really want to stress upon you because i still see people thinking that yeah i'm going to go i'm going to learn how to block endpoints i'm going to learn how to read like sim alerts you need to be already literate on these things because you might be interacting with an agent more than a human being so you need to add value right away the other thing is this is where I see the industry going. You will be interacting with security agents more than security tools. 2025 was when Agentic AI seemed very experimental, right? People were making POCs, demos were there, so, you know, side projects. But now Agentic AI is moving to be, it's like becoming a, a standard augmentation layer for most cyber security teams. What does that mean? It means that instead of interacting with tools like SAST and DAST and SIM, you will be interacting with agents more who will be doing the actions on your behalf so you won't be saying hey what does the scanner say you'll be telling you will be asking the agent you won't be looking at the scanner or the dashboard you will be interacting with the agent who will be interacting with these tools so there will be a layer on top of the cyber security tools which is the agentic layer so the tools are not going away they'll still be there but they will fade into the background and you will most cyber security teams they will start to take a look more at the decision layer prioritization investigation flow you know those sort of things will become important you've seen aws just release it frontier level agents you know the security agent which can do design reviews which can do code review which can do penetration testing your jobs becomes to orchestrate and make sure that these things are there so this was the old way right that you are a cyber security analyst you will be looking at the sim the sas dast sim now it becomes like this which is you are a cyber security analyst you are interacting with an agent and that is interacting with the tooling layer 
this is something a change which i see happening very very rapidly as agentic ai becomes more and more intelligent some companies might adopt it sooner some companies might adopt it later but this will become the standard way for most cyber security tools the other trend i see is vibe coding growing up what do i mean by that vibe coding uh, if you're not familiar basically using ai to generate your code it 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 started off in 2025 but then it got a bad reputation because a lot of insecure code was being piped up and people said this is just a you know a hype it's going to go away this is not going to go away anytime soon simply because the benefits that you get they are simply too much for companies to ignore it is going to mature it is going to mature 100 percent so people will be putting in guardrails and patterns and you know uh, basically hooks to stabilize but you need to stop thinking that vibe coding is going away and you know ai generated code was just hype uh, you can literally see i mean this person from google which i found very interesting uh, right at the start of the year a few days back they were talking about how they use cloud code to create something like uh, in an hour what it took them a whole year right and this is somebody from google this is not some tom dick and harry who doesn't know about coding and like a lot of people were asking her about how they managed to they use use it for open source but the power which is coming from tools like cloud code or chat gpt or amazon q it is or kiro it is all something too much to ignore you know and i really like this so 2022 it was generating like a few tokens then it's about new sections 2024 single file apps but now we are factoring refactoring whole repos so now you can imagine what's going to happen in 2026 so wipe coding i really want you to understand is not going to go away just take a look at what cloud code and other tools are doing within the industry and this power will be harnessed okay what else is there now one thing which i want to talk about is what AI is becoming now and people get mad at me you know when I talk about certifications so certifications are not going away anywhere but certifications are not useless like I'm saying here but their role is changing because you have to understand what certifications used to be right they used to be the baseline they were like force multiplier they helped you show your credibility now AI is becoming the way to show your credibility so people will not be asking hey how many certifications do you have they will be asking have you built any projects relating to ai how are you using ai to amplify your thinking productivity impact more and more these questions will be asked so ai is becoming the multiplier it, it's allowing one person to act as a full team and that does not mean that fundamentals are matching i'm not telling you stop doing certifications keep on doing that but the role of certifications are changing and ai is going to take a lot of that like it's going to fulfill that baseline role that people used to ask now are you a cissp are you a ccsp they will still be asking this but they will also be asking you what sort of ai tools are you familiar with how are you using ai to amplify your output when it comes to cyber security be ready for these sort of questions please okay what else is there uh number five is responsible ai now responsible ai will stop being a buzzword so if you're not familiar with responsible ai responsible ai is things like you know fairness accountability transparency uh, ethics all these sort of things now these they sound very amazing but unfortunately they just live inside policy documents right and what is happening is now ai systems as they're becoming more and more closer to business applications and critical data this is becoming very important to operationalize what does it mean that you need transparency how do you translate that into a security control and people you know they say accountability okay wonderful w what does that mean you have to make the ai accountable how do you translate that into a security control do you enable logging do you enable like human in the loop checkpoint or you know link it to the sim uh, you won't believe how many people they are completely unfamiliar with these sort of things how to translate responsible ai requirements into security controls you can't just offload this ask the legal teams or the ethics team they are not technical people they you have to understand how to do this i'm in the middle of making a course also on this because i feel this is very very important but you need to start understanding that you know buzzwords like fairness and accountability and transparency you have these are just abstract words you have to understand how to translate them into cyber security controls so this is because this is no longer a buzzword you have to start understanding how to translate this and lastly i want to talk about uh, personal branding in in this world where ai is becoming more and more rampant and people are just posting ai generated content what is happening is actual 
genuine people like genuine thought leadership genuine voices are becoming more and more important it's not about posting daily on tiktok or twitter or x or whatever it is it's about giving actual genuine feedback not copy pasting from chat gpt uh, something like that you know i see people doing this all the time if you are able to explain stuff you know uh, explain stuff how you are un- uh, thinking works about agentic architecture or cyber security failure you will stand out and that will actually draw traffic to your profile hiring managers are inst- increasingly look at people who are able to raise rise above this ai generated slop as they say you know not just listing your tools and certifications if you can s- show a visible track record of being a thought leader providing insight that becomes a powerful differentiator in a crowded market i really want you to understand this because people now what they do is they just you know copy paste stuff from chat gpt they are not they're talking like human beings and so people who are actually talking like human beings they are standing out within the industry and this becomes a very very powerful differentiator within the market this actually sends traffic to your profile if you want more help i have a completely free book i'll put the link below like uh, i used it to become a linkedin top voice in cyber security and you know it's not about becoming a top voice by the way just to be very clear but use these tips to actually start posting regularly if you don't like linkedin heck you can do it on youtube tiktok but start to create a brand outside your job also that becomes a very very powerful differentiator it takes time you have to be consistent but i can guarantee you you will not regret it one year later when you take a look at but just be consistent just start nobody's going to laugh at you nobody is going to like report you to hr nothing will happen please have that confidence and start posting so the bigger picture and i want to wrap this up now uh in 2026 is it's not about that whole thing that ai is replacing cyber security professionals that will never happen but it is about how ai is changing the way in which cyber security work is done you, you have to move past click ops or scanning you have to mo- move more towards an architecture and thinking think less about tools and more about architecture more system understanding you know more actual expertise so industry is not going away but it is evolving and stop chasing like uh, every trend which comes out but l- look at how ai is changing things and what is not changing and where your human judgment will matter the most this is honestly where the future of cyber security is heading so i hope this gave you a good idea about what i was talking about and you know it helps you to move like i know there's a lot of information there about how the industry is changing and people like to like fear monger i always try not to do that but i do want to give you a genuine uh, viewpoint on how the industry is changing and i hope this sincerely helps you out thank you very much for listening to me this gone went a little bit longer than i was expecting but please do like and subscribe to this channel if you found it useful and share this video Thank you very much and I'm wishing you the very best in 2026 in your cybersecurity career. I'll see you in the next video.